No, Urban Meyer, you cannot challenge your own firing. And congratulations on becoming the first ever NFL head coach to be fired during your first season. Stupid. Ruling on the field? You're still an ass. Welcome to That's Good Sports. I'm Brandon. Urban Meyer is the second head coach to lose his job this season, Perna. Late last night, after a weird story about Urban Meyer kicking, his former kicker, Josh Lambeau, came out. Shad Khan decided the possibility of eating Urban's massive salary was worth not having this dysfunctional human in his locker room anymore. And to stick out as dysfunctional in Jacksonville takes some real work. So today we shall celebrate the Urban Meyer firing, the most deserving firing of an NFL head coach I can remember. Oh, how soon we forget. How soon we forget. And more importantly, we will celebrate the freedom of Trevor Lawrence. Happy Trevor Lawrence Independence Day, Jags fans. That's good sports. Hey, if you'd like breaking NFL news in your YouTube feed hours and hours after the news broke, then subscribe to this YouTube channel. Today's episode is sponsored by D's Nuts. Seriously, my chestnuts are brought to you by manscaped.com slash good sports. Link in the description. Now Christmas is quickly approaching and if your balls aren't already decked out, get yourself a nice little package for your nice regularly sized package with the performance package from Manscaped. If you saw mommy kissing Santa Claus, it's because he didn't let his undercarriage look like his frothy face. Get it for yourself or gift it because the performance package has everything you need for you to slay your balls. The lawnmower 4.0, a cordless, waterproof trimmer with skin safe technology to reduce pube trimming nicks and cuts plus the weed whacker to power through nasty nose hairs and the crop preserver and crop reviver to keep your balls fresh and smelling amazing if you want to refer to yourself as rudolph the red rocket reindeer this holiday season do it with the performance package so your man basement is glowing. Oh, so bright. Manscaped.com slash good sports for 20% off plus free international shipping and two free gifts. All right, I have a few NFL headlines to discuss before we get to the Urban Meyer kicking story. Jackson Mahomes gets owned by a local Kansas City business. Mahomes originally posted on his Instagram that the service at Cocktail Bar SOT is absolutely terrible and the servers are so rude. That prompted SOT to respond on their Instagram saying, we survived a global pandemic, we'll survive your ego. They also referred to the time Mahomes TikToked on the late Sean Taylor's number and to the time he poured water on a fan. And now Patrick Mahomes is referring to the time his parents had sex one too many times. Sadly, SOT ended up deleting their original apology and posted a new one basically backtracking and saying it wasn't right to personally attack someone they didn't know. Cowards. I wonder what kind of threat Jackson Mahomes made to get that removed. Probably demanded every employee of SOT sit down and watch his entire TikTok library with him. Now OJ Simpson has finished his parole, all right. The juice is loose. It's me, OJ Mahomes. I think we can all rest easy knowing that OJ has finally served his debt to society. Sure, stealing your own memorabilia isn't the worst thing someone can do, but I'm glad he owned up to it and did the time. In fact, I think we're all looking forward to watching OJ Simpson portraying Marshall Falk in the new Kurt Warner movie. Now, Bill's Mafia has raised over $18,000 in less than 24 hours for an organization helping visually impaired people in reference to the officials in the Bucks Bills game. The blind officials. The missed pass interference and defensive holding penalties are well documented. It was wrong, but I'm going to donate $18,000 to the Bills in hopes they use that money to buy a giant mirror so they can address their real problems. 
Let's just hope they're not as blind as the officials. All right, Urban Meyer, you son of a bitch. Urban Meyer didn't last a year in Jacksonville. His hiring was questioned from the moment it occurred. Well before Urban did anything stupid in his role as Jags head coach, taking a risk on a college football head coach who hasn't coached since 2018 is silly. And Jaguars owner Shad Khan learned that the hard way. Shad Khan was the only man in the room who didn't know this was a terrible idea. Much like he's the only person in the room who doesn't know his mustache is a terrible idea. If you own the Chiefs, Shad, and you wore a red hat, you would be Mario. Now I'm happy Urban Meyer has been canned. He seemed like a dick, in addition to being an incompetent head coach. So he deserved it. Freddie Kitchens was really bad in Cleveland, but it wasn't like he was an asshole who wasn't trying. I didn't feel joy when Kitchens was fired. I feel joy for Urban getting canned. And as much as we all want Matt Nagy fired, it's not like he's touched the same level of hateability as Urban Meyer. The real winner in the Urban Meyering firing is Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence is six foot six, and somehow Urban managed to stunt his growth. Daryl Bevel will take over as interim head coach and the Jaguars will be better off because of it. Speaking of Bevel, Sometimes after all of that grinding, I wonder if Urban Meyer's penis is beveled as well. Jacksonville with a young roster and Trevor Lawrence should be an appealing landing spot for any deserving head coach. Maybe they will give Eric Bieniemy a look this time around. I'd love to see what Bieniemy could do with Trevor Lawrence on the roster. Now my favorite Urban Meyer photo is not this parody of the Urban Cowboy movie poster, but Urban Meyer on Fox Sports discussing why teams struggle. Listed, trust issues, dysfunctional environment, and selfishness. <laughs> Urban <laughs> is like a heart surgeon who drinks and smokes and fails to diagnose his own heart disease, which he ultimately dies from, suffering a heart attack while performing a triple bypass. Now let's revisit all of the blunders Urban Meyer made along the way, concluding at kicking his own kicker. He started on the wrong kicking foot by hiring Chris Doyle as the Jags team director of sports performance. Who cares about that job? Oh, everyone, when the guy you hire is Chris Doyle, who was accused of making racist comments and belittling players while at Iowa. Hard to understand how this guy <laughs> might say something racist. Belittling players is actually what made Chris a great coach, said Urban Meyer, probably. Then Urban tried to convert Tim Tebow to tight end. I'd have a better chance at converting Tim Tebow to Buddhism, Urban. And now we all patiently wait for the greatest 30 for 30 ever produced. Just look at all of the big crazy names from that 08 Gators team. Urban Meyer admitted that they cut players based on vaccination status. Urban's so dumb he doesn't even know when to lie. You'd think a guy doing this instead of being with his team would know when to lie to the media. The Jaguars were fined $200,000 for OTA violations because Urban didn't take the time to read the rules about how frequently you could hold full contact practices. He had his dick grinded on harder than a piece of angle iron at a skate park. Football guys will tell you not traveling back home with the team after that loss was the sin. The real sin is actually the sin. Thou shalt not have thine pee pee touched by anyone other than thine prisoner. I mean wife. Recently, he benched running back James Robinson, who is just the best player on the Jaguars offense, possibly the entire team. Then Urban said he didn't know that Robinson was benched, said it was an injury, said it was the running backs coach who did it, all before we learned it was simply Urban Meyer punishing Robinson for something he almost never does, fumble. Urban is such a coward that he refuses to own any of his own mistakes because he doesn't think he can make any. And that's why he crashed and burned. He's the head coach of a football team 
and he'd rather look like he has no clue as to why certain decisions are being made than take ownership of them. You can't do that in the NFL. Then last week we learned he called his assistant coaches losers and himself a natural winner. He pissed off Marvin Jones so bad that Marvin left the team facility. Marvin Jones, who spent two years with Matt Patricia in Detroit. And we all know how little players liked Matt Patricia. Hell, some players even defended Matt Patricia sometimes. And did we hear a single player ever come to Urban Meyer's defense outside of Tim Tebow? <laughs> no, not in Jacksonville. But here we are, the straw that broke the real loser's back was Josh Lambeau revealing that Urban Meyer kicked him in August for missing kicks. Lambeau also said Urban refused to call special teams players by their names. That he'd only say kicker, long snapper, punter, or wait, shit bag, or dipshit. I actually kind of like Urban Meyer now. This is what Lambeau said happened back in August. I'm in a lunge position, left leg forward, right leg back. Kind of weird he remembers which leg was forward, but uh, Lambeau went on to tell the newspaper, Urban Meyer, while I'm in the stretch position, comes up to me and says, hey dipshit, make your fucking kicks, and kicks me in the leg. It certainly wasn't as hard as he could have done it, but it certainly wasn't a love tap, Lambeau continued. Truthfully, I'd register it at about a five out of 10, which in the workplace, I don't care if it's football or not, the boss can't strike an employee. And for a second, I couldn't believe it actually happened. Pardon my vulgarity, but I said, don't you ever fucking kick me again. And his response was, I'm the head ball coach. I'll kick you whenever the fuck I want. And that story coming out was the final bit of information Shad Khan needed to fire Urban Meyer. Now I do want to know the way in which Urban Meyer actually called Lambo a dipshit. Because in all honesty, I think that's the way a good coach would nudge a player he has a good relationship with. Like if he said it like this, hey, make your kicks, dipshit. You're making me look bad over here. Come on, Josh. But if the exchange was like this, hey, dipshit, make your fucking kicks. And they didn't have a good relationship, well. So Urban Cowboy is out and all he's left with is about $9 million per year that the Jags will have to pay unless they can prove he was fired with just cause and not because he was fired just cause. I think proving he was fired for good reason will be easier for Jacksonville than winning football games, which Urban Meyer managed to do twice. 11 times you were a loser, Urban. 11 times. Thanks for watching That's Good Sports. Please subscribe here on YouTube. I got football videos all day, every day, all week, all year. You can click the video on the screen if you want to see this week's power rankings. And clickbait sports every Thursday afternoon.